Scotland v South Africa is two teams neck and neck on the world rugby rankings. Uh, but in terms of their recent history, it has all been pretty one-sided with South Africa taking out the last five results. Um, average score in these two games, uh, 34 points to 10. But probably can't read too much into this because the last time they played uh, was in the World Cup in 2015. So it's a long time between drinks uh, for these two teams to meet up. So there's a fair bit riding on it. And both sides uh, have made a fair few changes. I think that both sides have got six changes uh, for Scotland. I'll put these teams in the description so you guys can have a look. Uh, Gordon Reid is starting on the loose head side. Uh, McAnally is back at hooker. And Johnny Gray is also back uh, into the starting lineup as well in the second row. Uh, Tommy Seymour, who got his hat trick, starts again against Fiji. Not surprising, I didn't actually see that game. So I'm, I'm pretty looking forward to seeing how Scotland go against the box here. Uh, Hugh Jones is also back uh, in the midfield for uh, for Scotland, so he'll be a welcome addition to see how they go against that South African midfield combo, which is unchanged. Uh, it is uh, Dale Ende and Creel. Interestingly, last week, a lot of South African fans complaining that Creel doesn't like to spread the ball. Had a look at his stats, only passed the ball one time. So one would assume that's something they're going to have to get a little more on song uh, this week. Wingers for the box are unchanged. That's Nkosi uh, and Dianti on the right and left wing, respectively. One massive change, though, is uh, Ambrose Papia starts at 9. Fuff de Klerk's been released to play uh, for Sale Sharks, so he's not with the Springboks at all, which is a surprising uh, turn. I didn't read the reasons for that, just that he's been released to play uh, Premiership footy. So, obviously not available for the box. Uh, Fun Sale's on the bench to cover him so we'll see how Papier goes when he finally gets a start I've been wanting to see him start for quite a long time so we'll see if he kind of lives up to the expectation also a bit of shuffling around in the back row uh, Whiteley is injured so Vermeulen's at 8 uh, Peter Siftutoy is at 7 and Khaleesi is captaining from 6 maybe that's an improvement from last week uh, just personally but uh, we'll see uh, Snayman also starts in the second row which is good to see Marx gets the nod ahead of Mbonambi uh, the bookies have got South Africa by three for this one, so it looks to be a pretty tight game. And I said the the Scotland the Scottish have not had uh, a win over the box for a long time, but again they haven't played for a very long time, so it's kind of hard to see how these uh, sides will go. They've both changed coaches since then, uh, and seemingly both are kind of on the up. So it is a really true test of just how these uh, teams are at, because a lot of talk when I did the rankings videos about who should be where um, on the rankings, who should be at four, who should be at five, that kind of thing. Uh, and I guess the only way we really find out is for these teams to get face to face and really have a go at it. But yeah, like I said, I'll put the teams in the description. You guys can have a look at the lineups. Uh, who do you think is going to go well? Who do you happy to see? Uh, I mean, obviously, if you're a Scotland fan, you look at that lineup, WP Nell starting, um, Stuart Hogg starting, Finn Russell starting, Greg Laidlaw starting, he's captain. It's a pretty strong looking team, but then South Africa, you got Willie LaRue, Dwayne Vermeulen, Vermeulen, Malcolm Marks. It's it's equally a pretty strong looking lineup. So you guys let me know your thoughts, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.